Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have some treats sent to us by our kind viewer Richard, our THC 71. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. These are called Howda. We've never, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Never heard of these before, but they look very interesting. They do. We've got crunchy crescents with zingy spices and some ancient grain chips. Yes. And it also says one pack equals one free school lunch. Millions of children miss out on education because of hunger. We're working to change that. For every pack sold, we give a free school lunch to a child who has the drive to learn but lacks the means, helping to change their life and those of their family forever. Yes. Yeah, so that's really nice. And I've got onion bhaji here. There's also Bombay sweet chili. And you've got... I'm holding tandoor chili. Okay. Okay. So you want to break that one open and see how it tastes? What's this? I think they have a description on the back. Of course, it's tiny print. Uh, crisp ribbons made with ancient grains and dry spices with cumin. Uh-oh. <laughs> not, not a big fan of the cumin. I don't mind it, but y you can like... Like a I, it bomb sniffing out to me. Oh my gosh! Like a bomb sniffing dog, just a, a little <laughs> tiny. What's this have cumin in it? Yeah, just a tiny little. Yeah, it reminds me because we sampled that cheese we got in the cheese advent calendar. And there was one that had. As soon as I had it, was the me mexicana. Yes. I was like, oh, this has got cumin in it. And you know, honestly, I, I, there are things that have cumin in it if there are enough other spices, so it's not like rising up and overpowering to me yeah. I don't mind it but when that's like the only main first thing I taste I don't care for it yeah so we'll see uh, aside from cumin it has chili and tandoor spices sounds that sounds good yeah so let, let's see if you can pick we'll, up we'll see how it is <laughs> coconut and cumin Sure yeah, the coconut, I do like the flavor. It's that one, for me, that one's the texture. Uh, they're not joking about ribbons. These these look like <laughs> these look like ribbons, do they not? Oh, yeah, they kind of do. Looking at the picture on the front, I didn't think they would look like that. I thought they are going to look just like uh, little ridged chips. Yeah. But they do indeed look like ribbons. They indeed look like ribbons. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, those have a lot of spice in them. Yeah, those are really good. spicy. Yeah, those have a lot of flavor to them. Those are nice. How do you feel? Oh, getting some. <laughs> I know some not gonna hit you a little bit later, huh? Snuck up on me. And I'm not. It's not overpowering cumin for me, so that's good. That's good. Mmm. These are really good. These have a lot of flavor. That snuck up on me again. Yeah, a lot of flavor and, then, and a lot of spice. It does have a little kick to it. But just the right amount. It's not It's not overpowering. Right, right. Not tear, tear forming. Just enough to give a little zing on your tongue. And <laughs> Very nice, actually. Yeah, these are good. Has some nice Indian spices in there. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. think we've ever seen these in our regular stores. I don't think we've seen this particular brand. In our world market. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. They're really good. Okay. Especially if you like something, a snack that's a little spicier. That's a good one. I gotta get my hand out of this bag. <laughs> yeah, we've got more to try here. But, yeah, these are interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if these will look similar. You say they're vegan. And this description says crisp ridged ribbons made with ancient grain flour spiced with sweet Kashmiri chili and aromatic herbs. Or herbs. Yep, they pretty much look the same. Yep, have the ribbon appearance. Yeah, and these are Bombay sweet chili. I'm taking a look at that, the last bag. It doesn't look like it's mm -mm. ribbon. 
Hmm. I like these, they have a lot of flavor, but I would say these are more spicy. I'd agree, yeah, so I was thinking those have a lot more spice. It's like one of those things where, I don't know, if, if you weren't a big fan of spicy food, but you want to try these, maybe give these a try. It says sweet cashmere chili and aromatic herbs. I'm trying to see what the herbs are. Tomato powder, onion powder, mango powder, black salt ground herbs and spices so there's a lot they're not telling us in there those are good but yeah definitely not as spicy no oh. spicy trying to get some spicy treat mm. Mm. No. Okay. Okay. okay i got my hand out back <laughs> very good last one we have here is onion bhaji and this one is described as aromatic, crunchy half moons with a lively blend of mellow onion, zesty turmeric, and a little kick of chili. They're a bold match for a cold beer. Mmm. Nice. I think when having a beer sometime, we may have to pull these out. I agree. These sound really good, actually. Mm -hmm. right. Love ladies first. You got your half moon? You got my half moon. I'm going to press it there. Boop. Mm. Those have a lot of crunch to them. Yeah, they do. They almost have kind of like a powdery feel. Mm-hmm. Got made of spices. Maybe. And I'm getting a little bit of onion. These would go very well with cold beer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Right. Yeah, you can definitely taste the onion flavor in these. I thought I could taste some onion, yeah. There's a little spice to them as well. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Young lady. Tried all three. I know you want me to choose, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this one again. Surprisingly, when I saw that cumin, I was really afraid. Mm. This is a tough call for me because, believe it or not, I may put this one in first place. The tandoor chili. Yeah. I'm really liking that one, but this one was an awfully close second, the onion bhaji. Okay. I thought that was really good. This would probably be my third one. I think this is the least spicy as well. Do you agree? I'd agree. Yeah. Uh, first pick. You? First pick. Same one. Like you. The second pick. The half moons. And nope. third. We're in agreement. <laughs> We're in a complete agreement. But yeah. they're all good. There's not one of these that was, no, not pass. That's not for me. No, they're, these were all good. Yeah. Those are all enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, as mentioned, the siege, having a cold beer with any of these. With any of those, yeah. Just a lot of fun, different spices that we're not used to having mm -hmm. in some of our savory snacks. I think the closest we picked up a snack mix from Trader Joe's one time that had uh, different Indian spices. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> is it Bombay mix? It might be Bombay mix. Or was that the one we got from the UK? Because it was very yeah. similar to... Yeah, Something we tried from the UK too. Uh, that might be. Um, yeah, now I can't remember. But. But yeah, the one at Trader Joe's has like a, it's almost like noodles. Yeah, noodle has little, different little pieces rather than being just like a, a chip or these crescent things. Yeah. yeah, I think it even had like dried peas in it with spices, but I, I don't think it was as spicy as this. Well, I could be wrong, but would you say this was more spicy? Maybe a little bit more spicy. I mean, that, that one could get kind of spicy too, that Trader Joe's one. Yeah. yeah. So really good. We yes. had a lot of fun trying these, something very different from what we have seen here. So let us know in the comments, have you tried these powder chips and 
crescents, crunchy crescents. What did you think of them? I don't know if these are the only flavors, if they have even more flavors. Then let us know that too. Yeah, they're vegan. Yeah, notice these two said vegan. This one did not. Okay. So. And of course, as a worthy cause, one pack equals one free lunch, school lunch. Yeah. So, excellent. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh no, these do say vegan as well. Didn't say it on the front, but I just see it on the back. Because I was looking at the ingredients that one. Why is this not? Why is this not vegan? <laughs> okay. All right, thanks again, Richard, for sending us these snacks. It's a lot of fun for us to try. Yes, thank you very much. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you like our content, be sure to subscribe to our channel as well. Hit that notification bell so you know we publish a new video. And until next time, Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.